mother who was awarded settlement money from the Clark County School District is breaking her silence only to the 8 News Now I team. Now this stems from allegations of abuse by a teacher and a lawsuit which followed. The I team's Vanessa Murphy is here with this exclusive story. Denise and Brian, we're talking about a $1.2 million settlement divided between three families. So essentially taxpayers are footing the bill for the way school officials handle, handled reported abuse of students by a teacher. Where is your pencil, Matthew? This is Olivia Espinoza's okay. son, Matthew. Come here, Matthew. He's 14 years old, autistic and nonverbal. Look at me. Do you want to say hi? In 2015, Espinoza learned Matthew had been abused by his teacher in school. Here's a clip from a news conference parents held that year. I think this is not okay for us as parents. Why? A series of events led to a lawsuit. Three families, including the Espinozas, claimed the Clark County School District put their children with special needs in harm's way by keeping the students in teacher James Doran's classroom even after other school staffers reported abuse by Doran. During the process, we noticed that many people knew it, but they were in silence. An affidavit reveals three different complaints at Forbes Elementary. An assistant teacher reporting to police she witnessed Doran slap a child's hands. Another teacher reporting Doran threw a boy into a beanbag. And a third assistant reporting Doran grabbed a boy's hands and threw them down forcefully. Parents learned about Doran's arrest on TV. I knew it by the news. And... Um, that was uh, physically and emotional, emotional abuse. Here's what the lawsuit alleges. Doran used aversive intervention. That's physical or mental abuse used to punish a child, which is against the law. In May of 2015, parents of two children say they did receive reports Doran used aversive intervention on the students, but the district minimized what really happened and never told them a criminal investigation into allegations of abuse was happening. On July 14, 2015, a criminal complaint was filed against Doran. But he remained in the classroom for six weeks until his arrest on August 26th. In the beginning, the people, they didn't believe in us. They say they just want money. And that is not true. In February of this year, the Clark County School Board approved a settlement for all three families to receive $400,000. Doran pleaded guilty to one count of battery in 2016 and received a suspended six-month jail sentence, completed impulse control counseling, and was ordered to stay away from all schools. We got the justice. And James Doran went on to teach at another school district in New York. Tomorrow on 8 News Now, the I-Team investigates how that could happen. Back to you.